Hey you guys and welcome to the season finale of Skip to Life. I am a little bit sad that this is already the last episode. However, I do feel like we have one big episode to get into because we can't forget that lastly, Rika decided to make an appearance and that wasn't only it because she also ran into Mama Shima. So yeah, I'm a little bit worried as to what Rika might do. So without further ado, let us get into things. Cultural shock on I mean, she is technically a model, so... Huh? No, uh, Miss Vimeos. <laughs> Why can't she be here? Okay, it looks like Mama Shima does it. No, what's up? No, you shut up, really, because seriously. <laughs> yeah! Act for you again. What is that meant to be? Ooh, okay, so never mind, they both clearly do not, but wait, was it just me? But why? Rika's just question of are you making Shima act again kind of felt protective of Shima, but this might be like my last string of like trying to look at Rika positively. I mean, that attitude in itself is definitely not up, but I'm just thinking that. Maybe she thought that Shima was acting a game for his mom, but I don't think that's a bad thing either because we clearly saw that. Yes, yeah, Shima um, thought that acting brought happiness to his mom, so that's why he kept doing it and that's why he didn't want to kind of um, act a game. But I feel, oh, is there more? I don't know. I just, yeah, so uh, I don't know. But mainly, Rika has been hella rude though. I mean, um, Mama Shima is just here to see her son in a play, him act a game. So, yeah, it's, it's just not for her to say, like, why are you here? So, anyways. Oh, <laughs> This is so cute. Yes, go together. She ran into trouble. Oh, yeah. Okay, so up to middle school, they all knew you were an actor. He's tree. <laughs> I'm never gonna get over that. Kind of, but I guess. Cat's up there. Uh, I mean, I don't think there's any reason to hide it, but. Wait, what? What did really could say on the way here? You're not. Wait, did. Unless they seriously had something suddenly pop up, I'm gonna call absolute bullshit on that, especially because of her little smile there. Sweetie, I am so sorry, but I'm about to bitch slap that smile out of you. What? What is your problem? I was so excited for Shima's mom to watch Shima act again. She's the lesser. Thank you for Bobby Majiggy. Yes. Nice. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I love how just her natural instincts. To protect Shima. Wait, so even Chris kind of gets what she means? <laughs> I wish mean, she'll do anything to be the smiling side of Shima. That's so sweet. I'm so disappointed that the mom came all the way here and doesn't get to see the last show. No, like, this was all Shima. Who can I ask as long as it's for myself? That's such a sad line, though. Promise. Thank you, promise. 
I feel attacked when I see people who are passionate. I mean, you're at an age where you don't know what you want. And that's okay. I chose not to talk to them. It's envy. Oh, Shima. It's okay. Oh, I really like this shot. No words were needed to kind of describe that. Was that Rico finally choosing to like stay the fuck out of Shima's life? Mm-hmm. Follow you down the sinks. Yeah. Yes, Shima, yes. I am enjoying school life. Shiny. I love how they... <laughs> oh, every time I see that now, I'm just going to think of me. Interesting. I do wonder why... The 12th episode was the only bit where it said shiny. Normally the, it's like shiny and something else. Yeah, yeah. I think he's allowed to, Rubika. And you, you need to... Chris is, I love how Chris says it, says it that. <laughs> Why did she cry? I'm a little confused. I love the driver's just like, I did not sign up for this. Even I knew it wasn't Tony Sosuke's fault. Wait, what? He told me not to come, but I followed him anyways. But it's just not fair. You two were envious. You know you could have just been friends if you wanted that. Yeah. Oh, Chris, you tried. <laughs> you don't use his hanky like that. So overall, this has been about a cycle of envy, coming to an understanding of that and forgiving and moving on. Oh, senpai. <laughs> I can't believe he's just laughing at her like that. <laughs> Oh, that's quite high pressured. I didn't ask. Boring. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, that older kid's not his story. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> Yeah, I never thought he was a bad lad. Oh. Really? <gasps> Drama club, well done. That was a I had a good time. So scared. This was a lovely school festival, Lark. It was just so, like, sweet. Touch on all, quite a lot of characters. Well done, Mika. And then sleepover. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I 
In the reality, yeah, finals. That works, yeah, a study session. <laughs> Nothing more between Mitsumi and Shima? Mm hmm. We can't end the season, but a little moment between them two. Wait, that's it? Come on, Shima, let's play something more you want to say. Third time to chill. No, that was such a big girl retrieve a smile. Yeah, I think this first time he's going out with his classmates as well. Shima's expression has become just so much like softer. <laughs> but I found a wonderful place. A vivid, awesome sky. I love skies like that. I love shows like this. No, oh, I can't believe. That was it, it's her last episode. I personally really like this um, gentle ending that like warmly wraps everything up. I mean, I think some might say that wasn't like the grand like kind of season finale, but I mean, this show has been very kind of like, you know, slice of lifey. So that's why I think it was more so about the messages that our characters learned. That was more so like the conclusion of like season one. I was still hoping there was season two. So yeah, as we could quite clearly see with this episode, our boy Shima, I really like coming to a conclusion that he wants to be like, you know, happy for himself. He wants to live kind of for himself. Himself. because previously you know he thought it was more so easy to just live by like everyone else's standards and just kind of like do what they want as he said about how if someone told him to list his favorite food he wouldn't have any but he still knows like what to say based off what people like and that was easier but and that's why I said that moment where like Shima it's just playing yes he forgot his lines but we could see like did that small like gap in the curtains that like a glimmer of light just coming through it. I felt like that was the big moment kind of for a boy Shima's character coming to a realization that he can now chase after his own happiness and he's allowed to do that. He's allowed to live for his own happiness. And that's why he also chased after Rinika and was just like, yes, I'm asking for your forgiveness because I do indeed want to live this happy moment because I am indeed happy now. So yeah, that's why like this was such a big moment for a boy Shima's character. And so that's why I didn't need like, you know, a grand Confessional kind of like a grand moment between Mitsumi and Shima because as I said that moment of just Shima's big smile towards Mitsumi said a thousand and one words without needing to. It expressed the moment that our boy Shima was like truly happy to be himself now. But yeah I guess with that it is indeed the last episode so I do want to make sure to thank you guys for joining me on this lovely series. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it along with me but yeah I guess with that make sure you guys are awesome and I'll definitely catch you guys whenever.